Hi, I'm Rainy with Finance Strategist. In this lesson, we're going to cover the discounted cash flow model, or DCF, values a company based on its future cash flows discounted by the investor's expected rate of return, which is then used to calculate the stock price. The discounted cash flow model can be used even if a company doesn't pay a dividend or has unpredictable dividend returns. To calculate the value of a share using the discounted cash flow model, add up the value of future earnings, then discount the earnings by the weighted average cost of capital, or WACC. Then subtract net debt from the enterprise value to compute the company's fair value and divide by the number of outstanding shares to calculate the value of a share. The formula for DCF is as follows. Take the future cash flows for year one, then divide by 1 plus R, which represents the discount rate, or WACC, raised to the first power. Then add the future cash flows for year two. Divided by 1 plus R, or the WACC, raised to the second power. And continue this sequence using a detailed forecast for five years, then add a terminal value. This is the present value of future cash flows in perpetuity. Once you have the enterprise value, subtract the net debt of the company and divide by the number of outstanding shares. If the estimated value of a share using the discounted cash flow model is greater than the current value of a share, the DCF model suggests it is a buying opportunity. The weakness of this model is that it relies entirely on future cash flows estimates, which are unknown. Additionally, appraising the cash flows and discount rates incorrectly can lead to inaccurate conclusions on the attractiveness of the investment. What weaknesses do you see in the discounted cash flow model? What valuation model do you prefer instead? For more information, visit www.financestrategist.com. Finance Strategist. Strategy.